Hey everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I'm going for a quick dink dink do shave, as quick as I can. I want to get in and out the door. I've just come back from football with the kids, so I want to get sorted, have my shave, and then straight back out, so I won't be anything spectacular today. I did have a shave last night, it wasn't a great shave, well, yesterday afternoon. It's roughly uh, about 20 hours growth, and as you can see, <laughs> I've got about two days growth, even after the shave yesterday. It wasn't a great shave. Um, started to think it was possibly the razor that was maybe giving me a bit of the burn. I really don't know. Anyway, as you've seen from the name of the video and the photograph, I'm using Barrister Man Labanil. And this one, it's just amazing. It's like a powdery lavender vanilla scent. That's all I get from it, with a real earthy dirt sort of petrichor diamond sort of thing coming through as well. It just smells great. That's the what it sort of looks like. It's a really dark chocolate sort of colour. And the brush today is the Brush Guy brush. The reason I'm using this one as well now for this soap is because it's a dark coloured note and it's synthetic. So I always worry when you're using things like vanilla and vanilla essence and all that sort of stuff that it could stain the natural fibres of a natural brush. I'm not sure whether it would, but I'm not going to run the risk. So straight onto the soap. I haven't used this in ages. I've only used it once. I think once. And I've got the splash today. I'm just going to go with the splash straight after. No balms or anything like that. The splash I find from Barrister Man is just excellent. It gives you all the skin food that you need in my opinion. Whether it be winter or summer or spring it doesn't really matter what time of year. That's all I would use generally. Unless I have another shit shave. So I'm just really loading this up. As you can see, get a really good load into the brush. I don't really need too much when I'm using a, th a thinsetic, a synthetic, because the synthetic brushes don't they don't really do anything with the lather other than create lather. They don't cause it to dissipate or they don't eat the lather, make it disappear. I just find a lot with the natural hair brushes, not all of them. Most of the brushes that I've got in my den that are natural hair now, in fact all of them I would say are actually pretty good. So that's the colour of the soap. It's not a bright white like, like most soaps are. And I find with Barrister Man a lot of their soaps are actually like this. Darker coloured soaps. And So hopefully I don't get a reaction. If I get a reaction today, it's not the soap, it's just that my skin's probably just not happy to be shaved so soon. I was gonna leave it till tomorrow, but stuff it. If you can get a shave and get one in. So all I'm doing now is just painting some water in. And one more dip. As you can see, it's went quite opaque now. There's one thing with the synthetic that I find very different to natural hair brushes. They don't hold the lather. Actually, what I mean by that is when you're lathering up, it falls off it a lot because it doesn't seem to stick to the, the, the synthetic fibre as well as it does to a natural fibre. This was actually the first Barrister of Man soap that I purchased. What a lather. Mm -hmm. 
Now because this isn't bright white, you can really see the gloss on it. I mean this is thick stuff. There's no point messing about with your lathers, just load the brush up with way more than what you need and make a lather worthy of a good shave. That's the only way to do it. Right, Razor Rock MJ90, nice and mild, aluminium head, titanium handle, brand new treat platinum blade. I haven't used one of these in ages, let's see how it goes. I think I've spoiled myself with Gillette rubies lately. Super smooth. Now, even though I've only got sort of 20 of this growth, I still use just a nice light touch. You don't really want to overdo it, and technically, if you're shaving every day, you are sort of overdoing it. <laughs> you, don't, you shouldn't really need to shave every day. The reason I do is because I don't go BBS generally and in a day's growth with my hair growth I can have quite a fair bit of hair back again. Well, so far, superb. I've just realised I've got my Man United shirt on today. I don't want to get it wet and mingy because the game's on today. Now the fun part with Barcelona, I'm just going to enter the sink out because it's quite full of lather. This for me is where it sort of excels with the slickness. Dip of tips. Number two across the green. As you can see with the milder razors, you do have to buff a bit with them. You have to keep going over the same bits like I'm doing now. to stand any chance of getting a good close shave, which I do with this razor anyway. Certainly if you're looking for a razor you can use daily. It's still got a very good shave from, then this is the way forward. Nice mild razors. I know my man OV over in New York. He uses all sorts, but he seems to, he tends to use quite aggressive razors every day. They are 41 and so forth. And I don't, there's no freaking way I'll be using an R41 every day. Now this formula is the glissant formula, or the glissant base, and it's really good, but it's not as nice as his reserve base, in my opinion. I find the reserve base to be better.
Right, just at the tips. This is always a sign of a good soap for me if you can dip the tips on the third ladder and it still grows, which that has. Now they say this is a, a better version of the Edwin Jagger DE89. I would say the Edwin Jagger is definitely slightly more aggressive, slightly more efficient, sorry. But I have to say this is smoother, exponentially smoother, for me anyway. That's a really close shave, no rotation. That's how you do it. Well, that's how I do it anyway. Not how you should do it. You do it the way you want to do it. Right, Barrister Man Lavanel, which is the older labels. Unfortunately, I've got the older label splash and the newer label soap. This has been used once as well. I might have actually used it twice. I might have used it once now, a second time without the soap. There's alcohol in here, I'm pretty sure there is. Oh, that to me just smells incredible. Now there is a good good burn off it, but it's not a intense burn like you get from the alcohol normally. I mean, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there is alcohol straight away, denatured alcohol. So there is alcohol in it. So that's obviously part of the burn, but I mean, I think there's witch hazel in here as well. There is, it's the very second ingredient. So there's quite a few bits in here that actually are uh, astringents for the skin and do help the healing process straight away. But what a shave, really happy with that. So that being said, let's get the brush cleaned out. I can have a look at what I used and then I can piss off. You can always tell it's a good soap and you can't get out of the bloody knot the brush is so thick and creamy right through the whole knot. That's us. That's the brush done. Just rinse the soap off now. See all the, all the different colours through that soap. Oh, really good stuff. So, yeah, the soap was Barrister Man Labino Glisson Formula. Superb. I mean, look at the labelling. The label is just absolutely stunning. Bright silver horse. It's just everything about it. All the labels around the sides of the tub, the labels on the bottom, everything about it is quality. And that, you pay a little bit more for Barrister Man, but the whole package of what you get once it comes through your door. It's quite exceptional compared to most other soap makers in terms of how it's packaged, how it's labelled. And the scents for me work for me, I love the scents. That isn't a scent everyone would like, unfortunately, that's that's how it is with scents. But it's a very dark, earthy, lavender and vanilla scent. 
but I love it. I think it's incredible. I think it's amazing how he gets the sets into his soaps, I must say. Brush Guy Brush from Matt Martin. Absolutely brilliant. And then I've got Paris the Man's Lavenil Splash to finish. And the razor, which was super smooth with that treat platinum blade, it was a Razor Rock MG90. Very smooth, very sharp, very efficient blade. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap. I shall catch you guys in the next video. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.